Hello and welcome to another special video of you and tonight we've got the numbers well, transforming numbers yep <laughs> it's been a really long long time since I've been collecting transformers that I've been wanting to pick up a either a number set or an alphabet set because there is a whole lot of those I don't know what the fixation is but uh, there is tons tons of numerical and alphabetical letters and numbers that transform either in robots in vehicle in creatures in whatever some combined some don't some are small some are huge there is tons on the market I don't know why but they've always mesmerized me and I've always wanted to pick up a set and I've picked up this set. I don't know what this set is because like I said there's so many of those. So yeah I've got some 0 to 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and I've got the uh, mathematical symbols that goes with it. We've got equal, uh, multiplication, addition, division and I guess this is minus but it's huge uh yeah it's really cool we got two sets in those so the one the zero to four is one set and the five to eight is another set but i'm gonna review those uh, both of them together so one set comes with its own uh, uh mathematical uh symbols and the other set uh, comes with its its own too so yeah uh, I'm gonna skip for those right now because we're gonna need those at the end. So I'm just gonna put those aside for now and concentrate on the numbers for now. So 0 to 9. And yeah, I got so much stuff on my table. Alright, so they come with instructions. Uh, Nothing too crazy on one side is uh, from 0 to 4, the other side is 5 to 9, and it's pretty much the same thing for both sheets. So it's got this, it's the same, It's I think it's part of a whole set, but it's it has the same instruction for both of them. So, yeah. Except for one figure, I think it's the 6, I didn't need really instructions, and the instruction for the 8th is really full bar it's really messed up i don't know why they go with it i'm gonna show you my correct way the way i believe it's the right way to transform eight because yeah anyway so let's start with zero so yeah big zero both sides and we've got some uh, army label on it because this one transformed into an army truck so to start transformation we split these up like this, collapse it like this, and uh, flip these flip these up on the other side too. Flip this up and pull this down like this, and split it open like this. Collapse, and we have a nice Humvee truck. So yeah, we're missing paint. It's not that bad, but yeah, it does roll. So yeah, a nice Humvee army truck with a nice bumper. Even the bumper is painted, but we don't have paint right here. That is kind of weird. Do you have a painted window? Nothing in the back. Nothing underneath. But yeah, we've got a Humvee. Next up, number one. Hey, where it's now an educational video. So, <laughs> all right, one, uh, one uh, splits right here. To reveal tank threads, uh, before we split, the, we open this up. We need to open these on the side. This one too. This one collapse uh, like this. Uh, flip these up. Flip these up, and this goes underneath. So like this. Pull the cannon out. And you have now a tank. A really nice tank. Uh, the tank can pivot. If you do this, yeah, the turret does move around. Uh, goes up, 
down. The thread doesn't roll, there's no wheels, but yeah. So we've got a tank. One is more tank! Yeah, no. <laughs> you have some nice tempo on the side of, uh, I don't know what this is. Yeah. But yeah, still, really cool tank. Put this aside. Bring up number two. Alright, number two. Uh, or backward. Yeah. Ba number two is one of my least favorite, but eh, it still works. Uh, open up this panel here. And put in the back. There's a tiny peg. It goes in the tiny hole. Flip this around like this. And as you move it like around, you just slide it up like this. And yeah, off. Open these up, open these up. And um, flip this around. And as you flip this around right here, there is a tail fin that you open up. As you close this, you close this, uh, this, there's a sort of a hedge right here that's gonna peg inside of the tail right here, like this. Flip the wing around. And uh, as you flip it around, it, it sort of pops out. You can just push it in to lock it in. So just pull it out and plug it back in. Then you then flip this down and slide this up. And now you have a shuttle, a blue and white, uh, blue and yellow shuttle. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but yeah. Underneath the wing, we have some nice a logos, a little bit of paint, but yeah. So let's bring up three and four. Now you have a Jeep, a tank, and a space shuttle. Do you see where this is going and the reason I've picked this up? Yeah. Before going to three, let's do four. <laughs> You'll understand. So let's open the or up like this and flip these out like this come to the under slung and you open this up like this and you pull this out like this close this back up so now you have a tail fin out and open up this panel Flip this all the way around and close it back again. There is a hole and a tiny peg. You want to lock it in. Close this down like this. And you close this up like this. And you open up the tiny, tiny, tiny blades. And then you finally just close this panel up. So now you have an helicopter with wings but it's an helicopter so we have the cockpit the machine gun the very tiny blades some painted the de decal on the wings and it's pretty much it again a jeep tank space shuttle an helicopter hint hint do you know where this is going <laughs> number three uh, three is kind of weird but yeah uh, start off by uh, flipping these panel ups like this. Flip this panel down. You have a truck cab. Uh, you can open this up. Oops. Open this up. Straighten up this. Open this up. And with your finger, you just shove it in. And you need to pull the truck cab out. Flip it up like this. Then you can close this in, and you can uh, close this back in, and close this back in. So now you have a uh, truck with missile launcher and some sort of turret in the back. It's not the best looking one out there, but yeah. So now you have a truck with a uh, Humvee, a tank, space shuttle, and helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number five now. Let's move this. 
Uh, number five is uh, weird. I'm. It's not my favorite, but yeah. So first up, you split open these. Stick it in. Open this panel up. Flip it around and close it back like this. And uh, you split the underneath right here. Open this up. Open this up. And rotate the orange thing right here. Like so. And it's done. So it's a van. But there is no back wheel. So what's up with that? <laughs> we'll come back to it later because he combines with another number. Alright, 6. Like I said, 6 was pretty much my most confusing one. It's really odd uh, in every way possible. So, alright. So first off, you want to split the uh, 6 like this. One peg it here. Flip it all the way around like so. And re-peg it on the other side like this on top. So yeah, you can see it creates a ambulance. Yes, you know, ambulance logo. So next up, you want to open up these panels, peg it in. Open up the panel. There's a peg, tiny peg right here, tiny hole here. Peg it in. Flip the uh, bumper up like this, and this piece just removes itself. Open up this panel. Flip these panel in, and again, there's a hole and a peg. Peg it in. So now you have a nice ambulance, but you're stuck with this. So I was really confused about this part, like what to do. And they just tell you to peg like this. What the hell this represent? I have no idea. You can uh, peg it in like this too, so it makes <laughs> different. But uh, yeah, technically the instruction just tells you to peg this in like this. And what the hell will, uh, does that represent? I don't know. But we have a nice ambulance, nonetheless. Number seven. All right, another weird one. Like the five, five, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine are weird bunch. But yeah. Uh, here you split the top of the seven open like this, flip this open, you want to uh, unpack this, like this, unpack like this, to the other side, open up the wheels, open up the wheels, flip this up, and close back in, like so, just make sure the wheels, the wheels will want to go back in, so mm -hmm. just be careful, uh, this goes... Uh, yeah, this splits open. This goes like this. And next up, you want to slide. Mm, no, no, first you want to open up this. Like so. Open up the panel on your design. Then you want to flip this down. Rotate it. And that's it. Make sure this stays open. It's It, it really likes to pop in so yeah make sure the wheels again like i said the wheels love to pop back in and you're pretty much done what it is it's the back of the truck so you pick this in so now you have a nice trailer van again do you see where this is going <laughs> oops all right uh eight nine like I said, 8 was really weird. Uh, the instruction tells you to open this up. Open this up. There's a slider. Slide this up. Slide this up. So now you have missiles, which is cool. Now, this is where the instructions are weird. They tell you to open these up. Flip it up. Open this. And flip it up. These goes down, these goes down, and they tell you to just leave it like this. Yep. The instruction tells you to do this. So this should be like some rocket, battering turret, whatever. No idea. Yep. 
no idea at all. But here's what I believe is the correct thing to do. So I like to close these in, like just remain them as they were, and just bring the trailer, pop this on in, there's a big peg uh, hole with the big peg on the trailer, so just peg this in. Now you have the truck with the rockets. Again, do you see where this is going? <laughs> do you have a ramp for the truck? So if you want the other truck to go in or down, a van with two giant cannons on top. The wheels, the wheels are really pain. They're kind of loose. They love to go in. They're really bothering me. <laughs> All right. Again, like I said, a van with two giant missiles. We have an helicopter, a space shuttle, a tank, and a jeep. Do you see where this is going? <laughs> All right, ambulance. And finally, number nine. Number nine is kind of the odd, odd one out a little bit, but still pretty cool. Uh, this will open up eventually, but uh, split these open, close this in, and, and these are really tight, but slide the wheels down like this. And I might need a tool for this one because, ah oh man, it's really, really, really hard. Do I have a tool on here? Does this work? No. <laughs> I'm gonna need a knife, maybe. Mm. Let's go back here. Oh. Okay, you can just open up this panel and push it back. So when you open this panel up, you want to flip the steering, close it back in, open this up, and peg it in like this. Again, you opened up these panels down like this. All right, close this up, close this up. Like this. Again, wheels down, wheels down. And we have a nice looking uh, ATV. A little truck goes like this. So yeah, really cool. Uh, not much else to it. Uh, so we can put this in. So now we have the whole collection transformed into their vehicle mode. But that's not all. They can combine. Have you figured it out? <laughs> all right. Uh, combine mode now. Mm, all right. Real quick, I just want to show a new configuration that looks just as good. It's just by placing, open up the uh, legs, or the, uh, the thing right here. I just spoiled you! Legs, yes, because this combines into a giant robot. So yeah, we can just open up these, and it still looks good. So, kind of looks like the Onslaught truck now, so... Yeah. So let's move on to the uh, mathematical signs. So, equals. We can open this up, open this up. And yeah, I right, guess, and we have a foot. Yes, because this combines into giant robots. Well, both sets transform into uh, different robots. We cannot combine into one giant robot, and we cannot really exchange uh, bots from one set to the other. It's a little bit disappointing, but still works. Anyway, I got the uh, division signs with the two dots becoming uh, fists, which are really cool. And this part right here, we can open up this. We flip this down, continue to open up this. This flips open and we have a handle right here. And this creates a gun. All right, this, this, the feet. The plus sign, again, plus sign, transform into a gun also. So we open this up, flip the handle down, like so, and slid, oops, just slid this open. 
and we have a rifle minus uh, all again will transform into the other feet why am I having so much trouble right now all right Got it. All right, another foot, and the uh, multiplication sign just hides the uh, chest shield, chest crest, chest protection thingy. <laughs> so we have a nice detail on it. All right, so now for assembly, let's take the Humvee. The Humvee is really easy, you just flip the bumper up like this, revealing these ports. And I think it's the red one, because the feet doesn't exchange each other. No, it's the blue one. So take the blue one, and voila, we've got one leg done. Tank, same thing, uh, just two holes right here, plug it in. There's nothing to do with the tank, just leave it like this, like this. And let's check out the torso. So we take the van, open up these, put them on the side, clip it in, and unpeg these. Uh, flip this open like this for now, and rotate the whole uh, back wheels. Mm, oh, wait, so this needs to unpeg. So flip this open like this, flip this up if you want to or just give it down whatever these you flip down you can see the head right here so we'll just pull it out if you're able to I just pushed it in and I'm gonna use some tools come on come on out come on out all right so the head is popped out flip it down like this flip the whole thing around like this there's two pegs right here, so clip in the crest on top of it. Voila. And you push the uh, torso back like this until it just slides up like this. Come to these parts right here, separate them, flip these down. These are going to be the uh, thighs and knees, so you want to Peg them in on this side, voila, and the other one here, voila, this remains down, so we have the torso all done. Alright, come to the space shuttle, uh, flip the wings up, like this, like this, flip the nose cone up like this, and you have a peg right here that you can insert a fist. And if you want, you can give him a rifle. So now we have one arm done. Helicopter. Now the helicopter, uh, you can leave it like this. I personally like to flip this down. It looks more like a streamlined helicopter than with uh, wide wings. So this sort of like act as a landing gear, uh, the landing skis, but yeah, whatever. So we flip this up like this and we have a hole and we can peg in the hand in like so, or on the other side, like so. We can also give him a rifle, voila. We do have this piece that uh, stays on the side that you don't know what to do. I just like to peg it on the side of the gun, like this, it sort of holds. It's ugly, but here yeah, we've got some storage. All right, so peg, so we've got a peg right here, peg hole here, so let's plug everything in. Voila, we've got one hand, one arm, the second arm, oops. Voila. And the legs. Voila, you got one. And we are done, we've got a numerical combining robot and he looks uh, sorta like Bruticus and that's what I like about this set it's a 
sort of homage with the swindle brawl vortex blast off <laughs> only maybe onslaught that kind of looks eh, dodgy but let's check out the other one so let's take this and number eight as you can see it's pretty easy to figure out that he's gonna be the torso so I'll flip the missile up open up the leg like this Flip this down, straighten everything up, pull the head out again, like this. And now you come with the uh, multiplication sign. Oop, flip this down. Again, just flip these open and peg it on the torso. So now he has the crest. This thing doesn't peg anywhere much. You can plug this in like this. So it has some storage. Does he have the same storage on the back? Oh, I think he does. Yeah. So if you want, you can peg the plus sign on that thing right here. Da, 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 da. There you go. We got storage. Woohoo, just found this out. Alright, so the torso is done. And yank. We come to this one, come to the front of the van, and this will make a foot. So come to this part. I think it's the orange one, I'm not too sure. Get this open, let's try it out. Nope, must be the green one. So take the green, flip this out, flip this out, and these take in. I don't know why they don't interchange, but yeah. And you can plug this in. And he's very stable. <laughs> come to the uh, four-wheel uh, drive. Uh, come to the back right here. Open this up. Open this up. Flip this peg open. Close this back in. Close this back in. And now you have the peg for the leg. And you can stick the foot on the front right here. I forgot to mention, but the uh, cockpit needs to be closed down. So it was open like this. So you just close it back. So nothing else to do, so I'll just plug this in and use the peg right here to plug it to the leg. Voila, now we have both legs done. Alright, for the arms, the trailer, uh, you can leave this open, doesn't really do anything. The wheels, you can leave it open also, but first you have to close this up, close the trailer this, peg it in, come on, this one doesn't want to peg in, like I said, if you want to, you can close the wheels in, it's your thing, alright, pegs in, close this, close this, and which is fun about the, uh, uh, the trailer, it has this articulation right here, so this makes an arm, but you also have elbow, so yeah, really cool, so come to the uh, division sign, Take out the fist, give it to him, one fist, if you want you can give him also a gun, so flip this open, flip this open like this, flip this, and pull the handle out, give him the gun, voila, and this peg goes into the side, yes, and like I said, you have in the elbow uh, joint, so it's really cool. Back ambulance, ambulance uh, again. It's kind of odd, but you have to unpeg this. You have to come to underneath, unpeg this here, and you peg this up. This is the uh, joint that is going to peg into the robot. Flip this open, clip it in, plug the fist in like this. And this, for some reason, again, the instruction just tells you to peg this ear. It's kind of odd. Yeah. There's no real other spot. It's kind of empty here, but yeah, it doesn't go in it, so... Yeah, peg it in here, right here. If you want, you can give him a rifle, so... Uh, flip this open. Flip the handle out. Slide this. Peg the gun in. And again, this joint... Uh, this uh, connector goes in here. 
And so we have both combiner robot all done. And they look really cool. They're okay, they're they're a rainbow uh <laughs> kind of weird, but they look really cool, like really squared up, beefed up, menacing robots, and I really love this. So, yeah, and the, the only thing that I regret about this set is that they're not Scramble City. I would have loved to just put this torso right here to, so, to make, like, one really good-looking sort of Bruticus. Kinda. <laughs> if you want, you can see the faces. This one looks really nice. A nice-looking head. Torso, whatever. Again, we got Swindle, Brawl. Blast off and vortex. Even the head kinda looks like Budicus, but with tiny antennas. <laughs> it's kinda cool though. Articulation, we do have the arms that move. Like this. This one has an elbow, but only this one. Uh, the legs, uh, we do have knee bend here. Oops. This one just pulled out. Nothing more in the feet. We do have the split. We do have knee bend, and this one has a double. Jointed <laughs> that we can do. That's pretty much it uh, for him. This one again, the arms does spin like this. It's uh, not really good, but yeah, this one also has the split. Also move forward. You do have a knee bend. So uh, yeah. It. And just for the fun of it, here's a comparison with the G1 Bruticus. So let's move this one, move this aside, and let's just bring him in between. So yeah, he does fit really nice. And this one's a little bit bigger, this one too, but you know, kind of fits nice and still has some sort of the same aesthetics, except for the collar that is all over the place. But yeah, I really love this set. It's really nice. It's I'm really, really happy with my first numerical transformable numbers and thingy. <laughs> so yeah, it's a really cool set. It's not that expensive. I think it's like uh, 30, 40 bucks for both sets. So yeah, I really recommend this. It's really nice. Now I'm gonna try and find the alphabet, so. <laughs> Yeah, really cool set. Uh, like I said, nothing else to say. I picked this up on SearsToys.com. They have tons of alphabets, robots, and transforming numbers and letters and stuff. So go and check them out. It's really awesome. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time.